Hi, just before I leave today, this book, The Swallows of Kabul by Yasmina Khadra, is brilliant. Um, I was going to read another J.M. Coetzee book, uh, which I can't remember the title of, it's on the bookshelf in there. And then I thought, no, I'll try and read something different. I started reading a John Updike book, too long, got about 60 pages in, couldn't get into it, and I figured I'm leaving this morning, I can't take the books with me. This is brilliant. Um, it's, it's, it's almost like a Hamlet or a, a Romeo and Juliet type tragedy. Um, but a little bit more nightmarish because it's set in Kabul and the characters are brilliant, the the old man who's a little bit crazy, the, the, the war veterans and what it does is it really beautifully paints a picture of life in a place as messed up, ruined, raped, tortured, destroyed um, as Kabul, like something under the control of the Taliban, shows you the power of that stupid beliefs, fundamentalism, idiocy um, imposed by violence can can have completely destroyed this country. I've not got very long, I've got to leave, but this is an excellent book, wonderfully written. As I was reading, there's some descriptions of loving there that I thought, this doesn't sound like a woman's writing, and it turns out that Hadra is actually, Yasmina Hadra is the non diplome of the Algerian army officer, Mohamed Molesel, who took a feminine pseudonym to avoid submitting his manuscripts for approval by the army. Very, very good. Jan Koetsi on the back of this, Yasmina Hadra's Kabul is hell on earth, a place of hunger, tedium and stifling fare. Read it. Uh, 10 out of 10. Gotta go. Hope you enjoyed that.